This video looks at combining Poisson variables and in particular looking at the sum of them. So if you added together two distributions that were both Poisson. Now if that happens, as long as the um, two distributions are independent of each other and they're both Poisson, then the sum of them will also be a Poisson variable. So if x and y are independent and x follows a Poisson distribution with mean lambda 1, y follows a Poisson distribution with mean of lambda 2, then x plus y will also follow a Poisson distribution and their means will be um, lambda 1 plus lambda 2. And um, bear in mind that the mean of um, your x plus y is going to be equal to the variance, so the mean will be lambda 1 plus lambda 2 and the variance lambda 1 plus lambda 2. Let's have a look at an example. So a hot drink stand sells coffees and hot chocolates. On average they sell one coffee every five minutes, one hot chocolate every 15 minutes. We want to find the probability that they sell at least one hot drink in 10 minutes. So we need to combine the coffees and the hot chocolates together. We also need to change the time interval to 10 minutes. We've got five minutes for coffee and 15 for hot chocolate. So we'll call coffees x and chocolates y. Now if you're writing this out properly you should actually write that sentence that says let x be the variable the number of coffees sold um, and y the number of hot chocolates um, just for the sake of time and um, space I'm just shortening it so um, in 10 minutes we've got x follows a Poisson distribution where uh, you sell two um, coffees every 10 minutes and y follows a Poisson distribution of two-thirds um, hot chocolates every 10 minutes, so just dividing that 15 down so that you get the 10 minute interval. Now if we add them together you get that x plus y follows a Poisson distribution of 2 and 2 thirds. We are assuming that they are independent of each other as well. So the probability that x plus y is greater than or equal to 1 will give us the probability that they sell at least one hot drink. So adding together the hot chocolates and the coffees, it has to be at least one. So this will be one minus the probability that they sell no um, hot drinks at all, so that would be x plus y equal to zero. So we just pop our formula in and we get our probability. So it's very likely that they will um, sell at least one hot drink within 10 minutes. It's got a probability of 0.931. Okay, I'm going to take the same um, question and just do a couple of other things with it. So uh, we've got the same details. This time I want to find the probability that they sell two hot drinks in 10 minutes. So we'll call them X and Y again. We've got the same details as before. Now we want the probability that X plus Y is equal to 2. We'll just put in our formula like normal, but we'll use lambda being 2 and 2 thirds, which is 8 over 3. Okay, now how about if we want to find the probability that they sell one coffee and one hot chocolate in 10 minutes? I'm showing you this to demonstrate the difference. So before we were looking at the probability that they just sold two hot drinks. It could be coffees or hot chocolates, one or the other, um, didn't really matter. This one specifically is looking for two drinks being sold, but one has to be coffee and one has to be hot chocolate. So you need to think about that separately. So you want the probability that... Um, x is 1 and y is 1. So you need to use the x um, distribution and the y distribution separately. Put that into your equation for um, lambda being 2 and 2 thirds and e the probability that it equals 1. Then we'll multiply those together because we want the probability that they both happen so that we can get our final probability of selling one of each in 10 minutes being 0 0.0695.